So let's clear up any confusion um, with this Christian Coleman 40 yard dash video. So first, let's just watch his right heel. Heel goes away. So remember, heel's gonna follow the pivot point. So if my pivot point is on the outside edge, the outside corner of the foot, my heel is going to move around that corner. So you see the heel go away, the knee go in. Now, watch the other side, the left side. Where does the heel go? Watch it, watch it. Good, it's rolling away. So you see it rolling away. Now, you can even see the pivot happen, right? So watch this bow get set in this leg. It's not there yet, right? So this is more of a neutral setting. So what these guys do is they climb the inside ankle bone high, they spin the tibia, they spin the thigh bone, the shin bone and the thigh bone move in harmony and they spiral out and that's what loads this IT band like a bowstring and it goes up into the thoracolumbar fascia then wrapping around the shoulder capsule. And then it obviously goes down into the Achilles tendon. So there's a pivot out around the Nike check, okay? And so that's why you see that heel move in. That's not inside edge. He's not going to the inside edge of his foot. And here is why. Because if you go to the inside edge of your foot, that becomes a new pivot point. And so your heel follows the pivot point. So that would mean that the heel would have to release in to create the needed torque to move me forward, right? So if I truly get to the inside edge of my foot, what I should see is I should see a heel that's going to do the exact opposite of what this heel does when it releases. Watch it roll out, right? So it rolls in this direction. An inside edge heel is going to roll in the opposite direction because they are now spiraling. So Christian's spiraling his thigh and his shin this way, so his heel falls away here. A reverse mover would be spiraling the thigh and the shin this way. And so the heel would release in here, right? And we've talked about why that's stupid. The shoulder's going this way, right? Everything's going this way. The, the spine's rotating this way. And you're going to take a thigh, the big spring, and throw it backwards. It's dumb. And then you get hurt when you do it. So now this is the real step that's in question. Is this inside edge? No, it's not. So there is a range that you can play with between straight foot and toe out where I can still set a bow. Okay, so once again, it's important to watch the rotational quality, watch the chest, it's pointing out. Watch the knee, it's already pointing out. This shoulder is going to point out. So what you'll see is he's gonna have that shoulder in a cornered position here. So it's cornered. And then it's going to swing and point out and that bicep bone and that uh, forearm bone are going to wrap backwards. It's going to set a bow. So watch it. There it goes. So now the shoulder is pointing out. Chest is pointing out. The bow will be the last to be set. Here he goes. There's the pivot. It's not inside edge. It's a pivot. So he's pivoting in the ground around his fourth and fifth. Okay. So he's pivoting here. You're seeing this and we think that it's inside edge. It's not because he follows the pivot point. Watch where this is a bow. This move is a bow. It's huge. Look how far back he's spiraled everything. Look how far back his hip is sitting. Look at his chest out. The arm is going to underhand swing to help uh, propel the spinal engine in the, in the lower limb. Excuse me, but... It's right at that point where they're all gonna release around the corner together, and here's where that happens. So watch the knee, it starts to go in, it's spiraling in, the heel goes away. Watch the chest. Chest is out, watch the chest move in. Boom. This whole line spirals like this, and the heel goes away. That's Goda.